Okay, we're going to create a digital breakout room. And to do this, we're gonna use a few apps. We're going to use Unsplash to get Creative Commons images. And we're going to use imagey.app to split the image. And then we're gonna use Google Sheets to, to bring it all together. So let's first get an image and I'm at Unsplash and I'm gonna search for something. Um, I suggest that you use an image related to the lesson or related to your unit, but um, I don't have a unit right now, so I like this one. So I'm gonna download it. Next, I'm going to imagey.app and I'm going to bring this in. Okay, when you scroll down, it gives you a few options to divide the image. It starts off by just splitting it into two but I'm gonna split it into a grid. And now I have a few options here. So let's make a three by three grid. Uh, just remember that when you split your image, uh, the number of pieces is going to be the number of questions that you have to come up with. If you break your image into 100 pieces, uh, you have to come up with 100 questions. So nine is a pretty good number for an example. Process and download. And it's going to give me a folder, a zip file that is being uh, downloaded to my desktop. Uh, next, we can come into Google Sheets and we can add a new sheet. And this will be our data sheet. We need to unpack the image. So I click on it and it unzips it for me on a Mac. And, okay. So here are my images. So as you can see, they're one like so. Now I'm going to go back to Google Sheets and I'm going to put them in to, uh, into cells. Okay, so I'm in my data tab and let's uh, insert image and insert image into cell. So I'm gonna browse for that. Looks like it's gonna make me do this for each image. So let's go to number two. Okay, so I'm gonna grab these three columns and I'm going to resize them and that will resize all of them to the same one. I just want to get them all to show the image here. All right, now I have my images here in my data sheet. I'm going to try to make these cells into bigger rectangles so that the images can show up properly. So I'm going to click this uh, box here. I don't know what it's called, but it selects all cells in the worksheet. Hmm, this might be okay. Let's try. So what I just did with this formula is I pointing the, the cell to equal the data on the data sheet. And because it's another sheet, I have to add this uh, exclamation point and then the cell in that sheet. And then it gives, for example, if I had a one here, then it shows me the number in that cell. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to resize these and I'm going to center them so it, the picture will look a little bit better. And I'm going to go ahead and insert all the images. So, okay. so I have my image here. This is what I want to see in the end. And now I'm going to add my questions. Let's try to make the font a little bit bigger so it fits the cell.
the the formula I'm going to be using. Um, so if if f one F1 equals 4, then, then we'll use this. And if not, um, ideally I would have another image that I could swap in, uh, but until I do, I can just put some text. So let's give it a test. Okay. So when the answer is correct, the image shows up. So four. Okay. So now I'm going to do that for all of these. I'm going to um, going to use this formula and just plug it in. Now I have this all set up, and so here is my digital breakout room. Uh, the final step would probably be to hide this sheet. It's pretty unlikely that someone's going to find it, but it, you know, if you do click here, you can see it, and then if you click it, you can see what is what is in the sheet, and that is the danger. Uh, the other way to do it, instead of hiding a sheet, is what I originally showed with that formula, and you can import a URL image. So for example, in this formula, uh, I have image equals this URL. And then I just I just pulled it in from the U from the website. Uh, that's a, probably a safer way to do it. All right, thank you for watching. And uh, good luck with your digital breakout room.